Welcome back to the Seriously Serious show here. I'm down here. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm the Pels. This is the Seriously Serious show here at Remedy Live. I hope you guys are having a great, great time. But we have a special guest with us today. I'm so, so excited. Will you put your hands together for Royal Taylor, everybody? Yeah. There they are. There they are. I like. I'm <laughs> even supposed to look at the camera, but we can see what's going off screen, and I like watching you guys better than actually looking <laughs> at the know. people because it's like there. I can talk to them. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's right. So I hear you guys are. Where are you guys right now? Dude, we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Cheese Country, nice. Cheese Heads, <laughs> Cheese Curry. <laughs> yep. So the Wisconsin Dells and the such. They're all here. We're excited about it playing a show with New Song tonight. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Who are you guys playing with tonight? New Song, Aaron Schust, and Love and the Outcome. Yep. Nice. So We're on the we Swallow the Ocean tour right now. We've been on it for the past few weeks, and it's been awesome. So. Well, well, I heard it was awesome until someone got stung by something today. Who got stung yes, today? <laughs> DJ got stung by... I got stung by a yellow jack three times. I was trying to mind my own business, and then it hurt me <laughs> really bad. Three, three times, huh? That uh, that's, that's not intense. good. Yes, I yes, mean, it's like terrible. Die from that stuff. That's S crazy. Yeah, I I don't know. If, were you really minding your own business? Were you really just walking, or did you did you you know? No, walk? they weren't walking. He he was playing hockey over there. Yeah, we were playing street hockey today. Problem is, all I could think about was my girl, man. I got to <laughs> that is the saddest, saddest thing yeah, I've ever. So sad. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. I need to go to the hospital right now. I have to go to the ER. I'm going to die from this. I mean, that would freak me out. <laughs> it was, it was a scary situation. I was trying to tear it. Everybody was trying to see if this thing or, you know, was still there. They were being doctors, you know. Nice, oh, yeah, nice. Well, no one tried to perform CPR on you, though, right? Like, that might have been a violation. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> he just happened. You might have died just before that happened. <laughs> just, just, just put me out. Knock me out if you got to do it. Yeah. I, I like the band mate. I die before I ever I ever help him out. There you go. That's a great team. Oh, Teamwork at its That's finest. Great. I love it. I love That's it. Great. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So, hey, well, we we love your music here. We play yeah. it all the time. And I've seen you in concert. Yeah. I, mean, I know you guys know how to bring it. I was curious. I thought I saw someone doing the moonwalk the one time. Please explain Guilty. how awesome you are at that. Guilty. Thank you. It was him. <laughs> nice. For a while, you know. I, I'm telling you what, I think I'm the girl in the rafters that was like screaming high pitched, like, you're awesome. That was so great. Because I think people I heard started you. sitting around. I heard See, you. I know. Right? Sure. I remember it. I was intense. I was in love with that moonwalk. Let me tell you, it was awesome. <laughs> so now let's talk a little bit about your songs and how you really have a passion for helping people find their identity. Tell us a little bit about that conviction. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you hear a lot of that on. Um, this album that's getting ready to come out this month, we're really excited about it. It's self-titled Royal Taylor. And what we've found going out, playing shows uh, through our experiences with people is that a lot of students are struggling with self-worth, um, identity. And what we're trying to do is cast a greater vision for their lives through our music um, because a lot of times we don't do great things simply because no one has ever told us that we could. And so we believe that there's so much greatness inside of every person. And so every song somehow in some way woven throughout um, is a message about identity. One of the tracks that we're really excited about is called Original. And it talks about the dysfunction of culture and how we kind of live in this constant cycle of dysfunction. Well, my dad beat up on my mom, so then I must have to beat up on my mom. Or, you know, these people in my life abuse alcohol, or this is what my neighborhood's known for. You know, so many different ideas that we get trapped into thinking, this has to be what my life becomes. And the fact is that every single one of us is an original. We were fitly framed together. We were specially made. And there's a unique purpose for us all. And everyone has the power to break 
that cycle of dysfunction just have to choose to do it so uh we're really excited about people hearing it because we think it's gonna motivate some people to do great things that that is so awesome i i, I think the our audience would love to know what helps you guys like uh, in your own individual walks as you're going through because you guys are very very popular you guys have uh, many people cheer for you from the rafters from a high stream uh, that go right. crazy but what helps you guys stay in in the right connection with uh, with what's going on yeah I think probably one of the biggest things for us um, is we are all connected to our our home churches and we stay plugged in at home when we're at home and also we have a band pastor that uh always meets with us at least once a quarter and is always praying for us and pushing us to stay spiritually uh you know growing and things like that but definitely some of the other things too you know our fans inspire us with their stories and, and stuff that they're sharing with us how songs have touched their lives and it just makes us excited every night to go out and play songs for people because we never know like who's in the crowd that's been touched by these songs and they're there because they're supporting our vision and they're going with the movement it's really cool no that's that's just a that's just so awesome i love it i love the fact that you guys I, i've just been around some bands that say something on stage and then when they are off stage they don't but What's great is that you guys are hold, you hold yourselves accountable, but you also have other people that help hold you accountable. And, and how important that is to recognize that you need a community. I yeah, mean, It sounds yeah. like you guys recognize you need a community. We're made as a body. We're supposed to be united as a body. And then you preach that, and then you live that, so we can witness yeah. that. So thanks for that. I, I love that. And so just uh, you were sort of talking about it a little bit, but your songs so much deal with like taking action and like having you not just say something, but do it. What would you do, uh, say to maybe the spiritually seeking uh, teens out there or teens out there that are you know on the fence of really taking action? Well, I think the biggest thing is realizing um, that world change is not about a religion. It's not about a group of people with some special insight because they grew up in some cookie cutter household or community. Um, world change is about a person. Um, it's about you and I. And I think that what we miss a lot of times is we want to get people so acclimated to church and so into our youth groups and doing all that stuff. Let all that stuff come later. And let's talk about how the individual, how you as a student, you as a person, have been gifted to change someone else's life because we're all searching for fulfillment and we're all running to all these different places to get it. Um, but there really is no greater fulfillment than doing something bigger than yourself. And that's the opportunity that living for other people gives you this great sense of purpose. And once we start exposing ourselves to brokenness around us and people that are going through difficult things just like we are, and we have an opportunity to help them, that starts to move us into places of compassion to where we're sensitive to what God might be calling us to do, you know, a few steps down the road. But I would say the first thing first is get passionate about other people. Um, and I think everything else will fall into place. Wow. And that, that is such a powerful message because I think we are so selfish just as not only a generation but just as humans so focusing on others i mean how powerful that is and how simple it is to say right well, yeah on it's October so hard. 22nd your album is coming out how can your fans including the people like me find you where do we go we're on twitter on facebook remedylive.com that's no right. that's yes right. yes sending yes. us all there everyone <laughs> send it there because we will be waiting <laughs> exclusive <laughs> singles being released at Remedy Live. No, I'm just kidding. I wish that were true. Um, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. This is RT. This is what he's putting that road. Taylor, T-A-I-L-O-R. It's going to be everywhere. Yeah, and uh, we've been doing a lot of really cool stuff in our social media, um, like releasing cover videos, and we're about to do this unlock campaign where a certain number of views unlocks new video material and stuff, so... It's a good time to get, correct. to get in the royal family. That's what we call all of our fans. So, great button. 
great but I, lo I love you're even promoting other bands at this moment no i love it like you guys are so excited i love the fact that you guys are all in the picture you guys are all there is there any quick funny stories that you could all say about each other really quick because i know our audience loves that i know i'm putting you on the spot but i know each one of you has funny stories Today, yes. DJ was stung by a bee four times. <laughs> There's funny stuff every day that happens. Four times. Multiple things that happen Four times, homie. Okay. Well, we'll, uh, ta we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, yeah. so. Okay, you say, time. Jared. It's right. easy. Okay. Horses. Jared. Yes, I love it. This I'll is exclusive. Direction. Horses. Horses. Jared loves them so much that he took a picture of Cracker Barrel holding all these little Barbie it's horses. <laughs> Go check it out on FB. He's riding a stuffed horse while holding four little toy ponies. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. And he actually wrote a song. Sing it for him. Horses everywhere. Riding horses everywhere I go. <laughs> and that's why he plays drums, guys. <laughs> He's not a singer. That's a Remedy Live exclusive right there. Remedy Live exclusive horses. You can't hear it anywhere else. Yeah. Only here. Don't let that out. <laughs> Oh, it stays between us. It just stays between us. Oh Remedy my Live. goodness. This is awesome. That's I am awesome. so happy. Remedy is so happy that yes. you are <laughs> took some time out of your day to come on our show. We just want to wish you the best of luck on your trip. May God bless you. We're gonna be playing your song, Remain Next. We just want to thank you guys so much for coming on. Awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. Guys. Hey, man. Thanks, Thanks for having you guys. us. Love what you do. Awesome, okay. awesome, awesome. So you know where you can find them, royaltaylor.com. You can find their information, look them up. We are going to be posting their stuff all the time. They are awesome, great. We're playing their song right now. Right now. You know where to find them here at Remedy Live, where we chat, listen, love.